have made it to the hotel. I've got Derek Drew in here. Derek, you've uh, been to the NCAA meet several times. Um, how are you feeling heading into this weekend? Um, I'm excited. I feel like we have a really, really, really strong team um, coming in here, so I'm excited to see what we can do as a team. And definitely looking forward to seeing everyone, everyone compete. I feel like we're all really ready for the meet, and it should be a really good weekend. Now, you're wearing the uh, official team uniform of the Hoosiers, the Argyle sweater. Uh, if you noticed uh, before, his teammates were behind him all wearing Argyle sweaters. Um, you know, how, do, how is it to travel with a team that looks so good? Um, well, the Argyle sweater definitely seems to be in. So we're all, we're all wearing our matching uniforms, so we definitely look good in the airport. <laughs> now, uh, like you said, you got you got uh, 10 people from the team here. Um, does that make it seem like more of just a regular meet? Um, I think that I'm getting, I'm getting used to having um, a lot more people be at big meets. Like my freshman year going out, whereas I was the only guy, and now it's like, our, like a big portion of our team is here. So... Um, well, probably a couple of years ago, it would have felt like it was just a regular meet that everyone went to. I'm getting used to it, and, and really looking forward, really, really excited about um, the direction that our team is going. Now, we had uh, several modes of transportation here. I missed the opportunity to ask this to Ben. So, we had planes, trains, and automobiles. Um, you know, talk a little bit about the journey here and uh, how happy you are to be at the hotel. Yeah, it, it's been a long day for sure. Um, the bus, the, the plane, and finally our caravan, our trail of vans to get to the hotel. Um, it's a relief to be here, <laughs> finally, after I don't know how many hours it was, but it's nice to finally get here. All right, well, thanks for talking with me, and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Monique Riddick, we are here at uh, Gilliam uh, Track Center here in, at Texas A&M. We finally made it. Uh, you have been to several national meets before you got here. You know, how does your national meet uh, experience at, at the uh, Division Three level uh, help you now that you're here? I mean, you know, there's still the same amount of nervousness, but I think I have a lot of more calm feelings coming into this one. This is my third indoor nationals. So I'm really excited. I'm not as scared as I used to be when I was a freshman, but the confidence is here, and I just feel at home being at nationals. Now you're you're here, and you're not alone in the shot put. You've got Faith Sherelle here with you. You know how does it how is it going into a, a national meet and having your teammate that you've been competing alongside all season? I mean, it gives me a comfortability that I have somebody else by my side to talk about different techniques or what's going on or how we can just try to keep each other into the meet and, you know, concentrated. So I think it's actually a plus for both her and I to have uh, each other here. All right. The, uh, you got in last week. So, um, you know, how is it knowing, you know, you're throwing at your best right now and you got yourself in last week? Uh, it was great. I can't, I can't believe I got myself in, but I thought I would be able to. I'm just going to pretty much build on what I did last week and what I've been doing in practice. I'm very confident that things are going to go well this weekend. All right. Well, thanks for talking with me, and uh, good luck tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Andrew Poor, we have finally made it to the Randy Ronda and Frosty Gilliam Jr. Uh, indoor track stadium. Um, how was the journey getting here? Uh, you know, the past day and, and uh, the past indoor season? Um, well, it seems like it's been a long season, but I think that in the last couple, of, last year it was um, a lot of the focus, at least for me, a lot of the emphasis was on just qualifying for the meet, and it's not necessarily in terms of training, but just, because I've never been, so I was really excited to qualify, but this year I I really didn't worry about that too much. I knew that it would come, and uh, I've really just been looking forward to Big Tens in this meet, and so I really didn't feel like the season started until Big Tens or... Um, and, and so I feel like it's. A, I feel fresh. I feel ready to go mentally. I think that's the hardest part. And uh, so, and then we had a nice traveling crew. We had a lot of men with us, uh, two women. So it's been a good last 24 hours since we've left, and got here. A lot of flying. I'm not a fan, but yeah. So it's been a good, good trip. I'm excited. Well, I, I feel a lot more ready mentally this year than I did last year. I feel feel ready to go, anxious kind of, but in a good way. Like you said, last year you were here, you did the double in the three and the five. 
didn't have a great first race, but came back, got All-America in the second race. This year you've got uh, teammates in both races. You know, does that does that help? Yeah, because you get in the in the national meet for the first time, on, especially in track. Uh, there's only 15 people. There are only 15 people on the track with me last year, and not having a teammate, you do kind of feel alone. Um, you feel like the spotlight's on you a little bit, and I think I definitely tensed up a lot. I didn't. Um, I put a lot of pressure on myself, and I, I really made the race a lot bigger of a deal than I needed to make it. And so this year, just having Ben and, and Andy, I mean, we raced against really good competition in the Big Ten. I mean, Wisconsin has a lot of people here, too. So there's a familiarity factor, factor with not only my teammates, but the competition, too. And so I just, I don't know, it feels like business as usual a lot more than last year. And uh, so that's really the key this year is just continue to work with my teammates. Just relax, because, I mean... As long as I continue to do what I've done to get here, I think I'll be all right. So I'm not too worried about it. Now, one more question. Uh, spent a lot of time on these videos talking about uh, the style of the team during the uh, travel. Um, you were wearing the cardigan sweater. Uh -huh. um, you know, what was the thought process behind that, and and uh, how do you even obtain a uh, cardigan sweater? Well, someone with a lot of good taste and style picked that out for me. I didn't. I didn't even pick it out. Um, but uh, I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite articles of clothing. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to be different. I knew the argyle was coming from everybody else, so I wanted to pick something a little different. And uh, that's. I think that right now is my go-to item. So I had to. I had to pick that out for the plane. I'm, I'm very proud of that article of clothing. It's my favorite right now. So. Yeah, just want to mix it up. All right, well, thanks for talking with me, and good luck uh, the next two days. All right.